I finally extended my lights, so now it goes almost all the way to the to the side. Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a little bit of a story time and something that was actually meant to be done months ago. This concert is like 10 months ago now, because it was in August. And it's almost June. Is that a freaking grasshopper on my window? What the hell is that? Oh my god, it is a grasshopper. There's a grasshopper on my window. In one of my previous videos, I don't even remember which video it was. I said if I got to a certain amount of likes, I was going to make a video talking about my Logic Everybody Tour Q&A VIP experience. Because when I went to the Q&A, before his show and I got to ask him a question. I asked him a question regarding Bobby Tarantino. Yeah, maybe I'll do a story time on that. I did type out his response, so I do have it on my old phone. I might do a video on that. Thumbs this up and if I get 25 likes then I'll do a Q&A story time. Now I originally had this written out on my old phone, which I unfortunately, well fortunately but unfortunately, sold and I removed everything off of the phone before I sold it and as I was removing everything and like restoring the phone I remembered that my like day of written detailed explanation as to what happened was deleted. In that very moment I took it upon myself to go into the notes on here and type out everything. This is just to my best knowledge as detailed as I could remember it. I remember my question, I kind of remember his answer, it was a very long answer and it was very like just awesome how much like how off he went about with the question and how kind he was and he was like so shocked and like happy that I asked a question like that and was like thanking me and everything. And it wasn't even like a really like big question, but compared to everybody else's questions, a lot of people were asking like, oh, uh, what character would you play if you played Mortal Kombat? Or like, oh, what's your favorite video game? Some of them were like fit to logic and like, if you know logic, he loves video games. So like I got it, but they were kind of just like meh, like jokingly like sort of questions. So I asked something a little more on topic of like his music and everything. So maybe he just appreciated that. He was a really nice guy to everyone's question, enjoyed answering everybody's questions. So it wasn't anything like that, but just it was a pretty lengthy response that he gave to it. My concert was August 21st, 2017. It was at Jacob's Pavilion. In Cleveland, the VIP experience was like before I get into my question in general. It was very short. We were given two things. The VIP upgrade was $99 and there was no tax or any fees in that. So it was just $99 on top of my $45 ticket. So I paid like $144 to see Logic, I guess. Oh my gosh, I have way too many laminates and like stuff. <laughs> uh, the things you're given, you were given this laminate, just says Logic VIP. It says it on the front and back, and it's just a plain black standard lanyard. Mine is actually a little bit bent. I don't know how that happened. We were also given an exclusive Everybody's Tour flag. Very simple. I did do a whole merch haul from the concert. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, I'll link it up above. And in that video, I did show the flag if you guys want to see it. Because I took it down and I don't know where I put it. So that's what you're given with the $99. Like as of like merch and gifts, you're given a lanyard and a flag. So you've got about... 30 to $40 in value with just the merch if you want to like calculate stuff I guess but I wasn't really that concerned about the merch part I just wanted like the Q&A VIP part and the main reason why I actually bought the VIP package is because I got pit tickets and I knew VIP you get like exclusive entry to the venue so I just assumed you know with getting 
the VIP that we would just be as close as possible to get like our money's worth out of the experience. And for Q&A we were barricade and for the actual concert we second row so we were right behind the people who had barricade. That was definitely worth it to get the VIP upgrade just to be closer since I am a blind person. I appreciate it. The one thing that was really cool about the Q&A was that we were actually told we could film like if you wanted to film on Snapchat or just something but if you were going to stand there and film like the entire thing they were going to uh, confiscate your phone or ask you to leave because you just weren't allowed to record the entire experience but like you know if he like answered your question and you like had your phone out and you recorded his answer that was fine I didn't even think of doing that I was just like you know I don't know how long it's gonna take so I actually had my phone in my back pocket and you know I raised my hand I was one of the last questions that he answered so it was a good thing I didn't have my phone out like waiting because they probably would have thought that I was filming and like just for me to be filming that whole thing I would have got my phone taken away by the time he answered my question or he may not have answered my question because they would have thought that I was filming so you were allowed to record most Q&A or VIP experiences you're not allowed to record at all so I have written down so I guess we were told if we recorded we were actually gonna be escorted out the VIP experience itself lasted 30 to 35 minutes. I don't remember how much exactly it lasted. And I was reading on some forums that some people said that he performed Fade Away and Super Mario Bros. before he did the Q&A. At my show, he only performed Fade Away. That's basically the gist of everything. We heard one song live, and then we had about 30 to 35 minutes with questions and everything. And I want to say there was like maybe... The VIP didn't even sell out, and this kind of made me mad. The guy that was like in charge of the VIP actually went and gave VIP to people that were asking like who was performing so they didn't even know who Logic was. I were him, I would have given it to like, cause there's already a line like for the show, I would have given it to like the first two people in line. I wanna say there was like maybe 50 people. So as I said, I was one of the last questions that he answered. I wanted to include African Ryan was in the mixtape but I kept thinking I was gonna forget the name of the song so I didn't want to say the wrong song or mess it up so I just didn't mention it at all but there was a snippet from that song in the mixtape. I said on Bobby Tarantino you mentioned your upcoming album Everybody a lot. How long was that album in the making? And I remember some of this specifically. There was other stuff than just this response that I have from him that he said but I cannot remember it for the life of me so this is just like a clustered like th this is all stuff that he said. He said more than this and I don't remember that part because he kept each time somebody asked a question he would repeat it which I thought was really respectful of him in case somebody else didn't hear it so he said see this is why I love doing these things with you guys she asked how I mentioned a lot about everybody on Bobby Tarantino and I actually said in quotes this shit right here for the party the album that come in that shit for the spirit you know and then he went on about that song but I don't remember what he said and then he like gave us a fun fact and said hallelujah was written and done over a year ago people don't think about the time albums take but this has been ongoing for a year and some other projects only take a month or two i love doing these things because you guys wouldn't know about this stuff otherwise good question so he did talk about that um snippet and the song kept mentioning how he loves doing the q a's and he loves having you guys ask these questions and how it's like awesome to have that experience and um, told me that it was a good question so Thanks, Bobby. I wish I could remember what else he said about that snippet that he included, but I don't. I know it was in my old notes, and I'm really upset that I deleted it, but it's fine. Bobby's a really nice guy. The Q&A was definitely worth it. I know he's not doing a Q&A or any VIP Bobby Tarantino versus Everybody tour. I would definitely do it again if it was an opportunity or if they had meet and greet or something. I would try and do that as he's done with his past tours. Yeah, it was a really good experience because I actually got to ask a question and with previous VIP Q&As I was never actually able to ask a question. And I didn't stumble my words, I was very confident with my questions so I remember that. I remember just being excited that he uh, had picked me out of the crowd. And since that interaction, we've been, you know, Twitter buddies, you know, sharing a few ats here and there. And he's been watching the videos, so that's pretty dope. I cannot wait to see him again in July. 
in Cleveland. If you guys are going, let me know. I'd love to meet you guys or hang out or do something cool. I will be vlogging the experience and I'm just really happy to see him again. I love you, Bobby. I love you guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below if there's anything that you want me to go over or like address from this video or this experience that I did not discuss in the video. Go for it, and if I have an answer, I will definitely give it to you guys. I love you, and I'll see you again soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.